Hey guys, it's Al with Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, guys, we've got batteries, plenty of batteries, and that's what this video is all about. We're going to do a battery overview for Ego Batteries. We're going to go over how can you save money on buying batteries? What's the best way to get a battery as cheap as you possibly can? I'm going to go over battery maintenance tips. I'm also going to go over how I get my battery percentage. Huh, interesting. We're going to go over peak discharge information. Is a 2.5 amp hour battery just as powerful as a 10 amp hour battery? Are they the same? We're going to find out. And which battery is recommended for the tool that you use? So, why don't we go ahead and get this party started? Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, here is an image of what we're covering in today's video. If you need to look at it, go ahead and hit pause, but we're going to go ahead and move on in this video. All right, we're going to dig into a battery overview. That's why I've got all these batteries on here. Now I'm going to go over two things before I start going over each of the batteries. First of all, why do I have an old battery sitting on top? Well, that's because this is my oldest battery. This is produced in February of 2018, as you can see there, right? And, you know, obviously it's got the old style fuel gauge. I bought this when I bought my mower um, late 2018 was when I bought my mower. Why is this still working? Because of the way I maintain my batteries. I'll be sharing that with you later on, so stay tuned. But let's also talk a little bit about fuel gauges and model numbers. Now, if you buy a battery and it doesn't end in T as far as the model number, then you're going to have a round one-button fuel gauge. But if you buy a battery that actually ends in T as far as the model number, you're going to now have an upgraded fuel gauge, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 really nice okay so just wanted to make you aware of that but let me go ahead and dig in now and go over the different types of batteries and uh, i'll even go over costs as well now let's go ahead and dig in and talk about all the batteries i'm going to start off with the first battery that ego made to my knowledge it's a two amp hour battery the model number is BA1120. Now, if you can find that battery, it's probably going to be either used or at a clearance place. But be, be aware that if you find it at a clearance place, you're going to want to check that battery and get a receipt. Because if it's been sitting around that long, I don't know how healthy that battery is going to be. Okay? I mean, think about it. This battery here is from 2018 of February. <laughs> so, you know, that's many years ago. But the next battery is going to be a 2.5 amp hour battery. Now, that came in two model numbers. So BA1400 has the old fuel gauge. And the BA1400T, which is what this is, right, has the upgraded fuel gauge. Now, this weighs 2.7 pounds or 1.26 kilograms and it sells for $179. Now the next battery I don't have. They didn't produce many of them until recently, and that is a four amp hour battery. Now it's a BA2240, or with the upgraded fuel gauge, BA2242T. Think about that, so the model number changed. Now 
They are starting to include the 4 amp hour battery with some kits, and you can buy it separately. All right, $249, and again, it weighs 4.8 pounds, or 2.18 kilogram. The next battery is going to be a 5 amp hour battery, very popular battery, right? Double the capacity. Think about that. Look at this battery for a second, and look at this battery, right? So you've got almost double. I mean, again, cell-wise, there's definitely another layer of cells in here, all right? But... This is um, BA2800 with the old fuel gauge, or BA2800T with, obviously, the new fuel gauge. Now, they do sell this in a two-pack also, and it's BA2800T-2, and you do save a little bit of money, so check that out. This individual battery weighs 4.87 pounds, or 2.8. Uh, 21 kilogram and it sells for $299. All right, let me throw this back in here. We're going to go to the next one. And I, I want you to look at this for a minute here. Look at these two for a second, just on the camera, because you'll see exactly what I'm seeing. Which one of these is a 6 amp hour battery and which one of these is a 7.5 amp hour battery? Hard to tell, right? It's almost like the 6 amp hour battery looks a little bigger. This is actually a 6 amp hour battery. Check this out. And this is a 7.5 amp hour battery. So it's a pretty big casing that they have on this 6 amp hour battery, <laughs> first of all. The model number on this is BA. 3360T. Now this is 6.2 pounds or 2.81 kilogram. It sells for $349. Now I don't know about you but I checked Lowe's and it's $549 at Lowe's. I don't know why. Again it's practically the end of May 2024. But anywhere else it's $349 which is in line right. The 5 amp hour is $299. The 6 amp hour is 349 Now, the 7.5 amp hour battery is pretty popular, right? If you own a mower, if you own a snowblower, I mean, this is really what they are, you know, bundling if you're buying the packages, right? So the 7.5 amp hour battery, the older model number is BA4200. And with the new fuel gauge, BA4200T. Now, this weighs 6.31 pounds, or 2.86 kilogram, and it is $399. Now, there's another battery I don't have, and it just came out. It is an 8-amp-hour battery. Now, that is a BA4480T. All right, it only comes with the new fuel gauge because it's a brand new battery. It's 6.71 pounds or 3.03 kilogram. It is $429. All right, so 7.5 is $399. 8 amp hour is $429. Then we get into the big boys. Here are the big boys. All right, I'm going to have to move this battery now because <laughs> they are the big boys. So here's your 10 amp hour battery, right? Now, let me stop here. So every battery before these two, every battery comes with a three-year warranty. The 10 amp hour and the 12 amp hour battery come with a five-year warranty, but you have to register it. If you don't register it and then you have an issue and you call in, you're only going to have a three-year warranty and you're going to need your proof of purchase. So I will tell you, register your batteries and your tools as soon as you get them. Put that on your to-do list, set your alarms, because you don't want to lose out on a great warranty. All right, 10 amp hour battery is a BA5600T, 7.53 pounds. Think about that. 3.41 kilogram. This is $499. All right, that's a $500 battery. 
Now look at the 12 amp hour. I mean, and, and can we get these side by side? You really, it, it's a little hard to tell the difference between a 10 amp hour and a 12 amp hour. This is a little bigger, it is a little bigger, but it's gonna be hard to tell on camera. 12 amp hour, BA 6720T. This also comes in a two pack. BA 6720T-2. This is almost eight pounds. It's 7.91 pounds or 3.58 kilogram. It is $100 more than this. So $599 for this one battery. Now the two pack, you should be able to save, but make sure you check your pricing. All right, let's move on. We are now going to talk about maintenance tips. Guys, this is based off my experience. This is how I've learned to maintain my batteries and make them last. And I can still use this, you know, in my lawnmower and stuff. This, like I said, this one here is February of 2018. So let's go over our battery maintenance tips. I've got seven of them. Let's go through them one at a time. Number one, register your warranty immediately, especially the 10 amp hour battery and the 12 amp hour battery, because you get two extra years if you register them. And that really helps. And I know that's not maintenance, but believe me, you want to know that you have your warranty. Number two, let your battery rest after you use it. Let it rest for at least 30 minutes before you use it again or before you have to charge it. Just let it sit for a while. That's going to help you. And I know that might be hard if you only have one battery. I promise you, if you stay in the ecosystem of Ego, you'll probably end up with at least two, maybe three batteries. And these are wonderful because they work in all tools. Number three. Let your battery rest after charging it. Let it sit for, I would say 30 minutes, but minimum 15 minutes. I let mine sit for 30 minutes or more. I have plenty of batteries. I have a luxury, but I know you probably don't. Let your batteries rest after charging. I promise it helps. Number four, don't always fast charge. It's good to charge fast once in a while, but if you do it all the time, you're going to shorten the life of your battery. I know this charger has a fan. I know it's going to cool the battery off even after it charges it, but this will still apply a little more heat than a dual charger, which is about 280 watts, or a slow charger, which is about 320 watts. So don't fast charge all the time. Number five, when your battery turns red, stop. Let it rest, and then when you get a chance, charge it. I know, I know there's additional capacity there and you wanna use it, but for me, when this battery turns red, or when these batteries, turn red and I know there's probably I think it's 15% more capacity something like that I leave it alone again you might not have the luxury um, I understand that but I'm just sharing my tips with you number six don't leave your batteries on the charger even if it is not plugged in I'm going to show you a statement from ego I'm going to bring up a screenshot real quick all right, Steve, I have this guy, Steve. He's wonderful. He actually runs my social media online. You probably know him. He sent a message to Ego because we wanted to grab this snapshot, as you can see here. And the key takeaways is even if it's not plugged in, there's a slow flow produced when connected. And the battery life can be reduced over time. Take your batteries off the charger. And I promise you, you'll extend their life. You would be surprised. Number seven, 
And I know there are a ton of people out there that are not going to like this one because they do it. They don't care. They don't have the time. And they probably don't care about maintenance for the battery. So they're probably not watching this video. But do not store your batteries in a shed or a garage or in your car if it's not air conditioned somehow. Because if your batteries get too hot or they get too cold, that is going to reduce their life and, if anything, possibly damage them. There is a limit. Look at the Ego manual and it will tell you there's a storage temperature limit. All right. So don't put it on your charger. Bring it inside your house. Put it in your basement. All right. But these are expensive. They are investment. These cost more than the tools most of the time. So please follow that one and I promise it will help you. Now it's now it's time for me to show you how I get my battery percentage. All right. Because these are older batteries. I use these for mowing a lot most of the time, the 7.5 amp batteries. But how do I do it? How do I get the battery percentage? Well, let me show you. <laughs> Look at that. That is the uh, Speed IQ. It's discontinued. But I love this display. I wish they would have put this in the aluminum deck. Now, I've been using the aluminum deck for a while. And so... You know, I should come up with a final conclusion video soon. But I really like this screen. I like the display mainly because it, it gives you the percentage. So let's take one of these old guys here and uh, just throw it in. And these are charged at 100%. So, you know, let's see what we get out of these. I'm going to change this to turbo. And... Uh, it's already showing 95%, but there's no load. So this one's got about 76% capacity, pretty much. Um, you know, so that's interesting, even though it shows 90%. You immediately know when you put a load on. Now let's take this out. I'll try one more. I'll try the other one and see what, you know, what capacity I have left. Now, keep in mind, you know, I've got a bunch of batteries, first of all. And second of all, I mean, that's, that's a luxury, right? Because I buy a lot of the tools and pay for them myself to do the reviews. But um, I do maintain them well. So let me turn this on. Put this on turbo. Now this shows 100%, but it ain't. Let's see. Well, there you go. That's how I get my battery percentage. And uh, I'm, I use this mower from time to time. But now I'm using the aluminum deck uh, a lot more, so I can really give you a good review. All right, the next one is how do you save money buying batteries? Look, the answer is honestly pretty simple. Try and buy your batteries in kits. Now, if you are on the Ego platform, then you're in the ecosystem. Hopefully, your string trimmer and your mower you know, are Ego brand. And you use the one battery for everything. And the next tool you buy, hopefully, will be with a battery. I'm going to show you an example, right? This is a current example right now on the screen of a 7.5 amp hour battery. By itself, it's $399. Okay? Now, the mower on the right side is the LM2135SP. It is one of the... To me, it's a great select cut dual blade mower. It's on sale right now for $599. It includes the mower. It includes, I believe, a 550 watt fast charger. And it includes a 7.5 amp hour battery, the new one with the fuel gauge. 
all right? Now, I think the, the regular price is $749, but think about it. The battery is $399 for $200 more on sale. You're getting everything. And even if you bought it at regular price, it would be $350 more, and you would be getting a mower and a charger. So that is the way you want to save. You don't want to go out and buy batteries. I mean, if they're on sale, even when they're on sale, they're not on sale by much. It's like 50 bucks. So buy your kits and that's how you save on batteries. All right, it's time for us to talk power. Pay attention because this is some good stuff, I promise. Okay, we are gonna jump in and talk power, right? 2.5 amp hour battery, 7.5 amp hour battery, right? Pressure washer, string trimmer, chainsaw. So we're gonna spend some time talking about power and after this, we will go ahead and go through the batteries that are recommended by Ego for the tools that they have, most of the tools, that'll come right after this. All right, but uh, let's get started on this one. This is good stuff. All right, we're gonna talk power. And after this, I am gonna show you the recommended batteries for the recommended tools by Ego, by the way, not by me. All right, some, some of the things are me, I'll tell you that. So the first question is, do all tools demand more power? What's the answer, yes or no? Believe it or not, it's no. Here's a perfect example. A string trimmer, it doesn't matter if you put a 2.5 amp hour battery on it or a 7.5 amp hour battery on it. That's only gonna extend the runtime. But this is not a power hungry tool. Now, if you talk about a chainsaw, or a pressure washer, or even a snow blower. Now you're, you're, it's a different story, it really is. Here's something to think about. Larger batteries, right? Here's an example, a 7.5 and a 2.5. Larger batteries actually have more cells. And because of that, the amperage will increase depending on how many cells, as well as the cell type. Because understand something, as we move forward, and, and ego moves forward, cells actually improve, the cell technology improves, producing even more power depending, you know? An example, let me give you an example. So for instance, a 2.5 amp hour battery will produce a 20 amp max discharge. But a 7.5 amp hour battery has more cells in it. And this will actually produce a 60 amp max discharge. More power. Definitely for the specific tool that'll take advantage of it, right? So again, you know, just an example, chainsaw, right? Pressure washer, snow blower. So I hope this information was helpful. And what I'll do now is I'm gonna go over the different tools. I'm not going over every tool, but I'm gonna go over the different tools and the batteries that are recommended. All right, so the image is in front of you. What battery should you use? And this is gonna be about residential tools. Also, not every tool will be listed, but the majority of the tools will be listed. So let's go on and start with number one, the lawnmower. So on most lawnmowers, there's, there's obviously uh, another one that has two batteries that's residential, and then there's a commercial one that actually has two batteries, but we're not talking commercial. So I would recommend at least a 7.5 amp hour battery. Now, if you're getting one of the newer mowers, the LM2200 SP or the LM2206 SP, I would say at that point, a 10 amp hour battery because that mower's got more torque. It uses more wattage. It also has turbo mode. So I would recommend a 10 amp hour battery for those two, but for most, a 7.5 amp hour battery. Now the next one here is a string trimmer. 
a hedge trimmer, or a pole saw. Believe it or not, a 2.5 amp hour battery is fine. Now, I'm going to pull up an image on a video we did on a backpack link. Now, this is actually a backpack where you throw a heavier battery on your back. And then you take the adapter and plug it into your tool. So if you ever want to use a larger battery, because maybe you've got a much bigger job, again, residential, the backpack link could be a good solution. I'll put the link to the video in the description. But string trimmer, hedge trimmer, or pole saw, a 2.5 amp hour battery is fine. Next up, is a new item called an ice auger. And the recommended minimum is a five amp hour battery. Now again, you can go all the way up to 12 amp hour, but a five amp hour battery is what Ego recommends as a minimum. Now what about the earth auger? Well that, they say a four amp hour battery will be fine. For most jobs, but again, if you're going to be working longer, you're going to be drilling more holes, you could always move up to a bigger battery, but nothing less than a four amp hour battery. The next one is a blower. Any of the blowers, I believe, should have a five amp hour battery. Now, again, if you have larger jobs, don't forget the backpack link is very helpful. Again, the video link will be in the description. And you can put a much bigger battery on your back and make your load in your hand a lot less. So a 5 amp hour battery for a blower is enough. And now what about a snow blower? So the single stage and the two stage both need batteries. Now the two stage should have two 7.5 amp hour batteries minimum. And a single stage can actually use two 5 amp hour batteries. But if it was me, I would have two 7.5 amp hour batteries in a single stage or a dual stage. My recommendation. What about a snow shovel? That's a new item that came out not too long ago. You can use a 4 amp hour battery or higher on the snow shovel. What about the new mini bike? This is pretty cool. And uh, they recommend two 7.5 amp hour batteries. Now, can you use two 5 amp hour batteries? You can. You just won't get the distance. And to my knowledge, I don't know that you can turn on sport mode. I don't have that on top of my head. Um, you might be able to. But you know what? We did a super detailed video with timestamps, as you can see the image on the right side. And we did setup and everything. Towards the end of the video, you'll have setup. But we tested a bunch of batteries. And we even used like one 2.5 amp hour battery. <laughs> and uh, it's not made for it. But yeah, that is really cool. But two 7.5 amp hour batteries are recommended. Again, the video link will be in the description. Next up is an 18 inch misting fan. And Eagle recommends a 5 amp hour battery or higher. Now again, you could probably use a 4 amp hour battery or even a 2.5 amp hour battery on a lower setting. It just won't last long. So they recommend a 5 amp hour battery. Next up is an area light. Again, they recommend a 5 amp hour battery, but I know you can use a 2.5 amp hour battery and a 4 amp hour battery on a low setting with all the lights obviously not on. You usually would have one light on. <laughs> okay. Uh, pressure washer, brand new. And uh, they recommend two 6 amp hour batteries with the pressure washer. And we did a detailed review. First off, on the left side, we did an unboxing and a close look, but very, very detailed. And on the right side, we did an actual pressure washer test with a Toyota Supra MK4, a pretty popular car. And that's a buddy of mine. So 
Those two video links will be in the video description, but again, two six amp hour batteries are recommended. Next up is a wet dry vac. They recommend one five amp hour battery. And we did a video on that. I will put a link in the description for that as well. Next up is a 14 inch chainsaw, again, residential. Of course, you can buy larger sizes for the residentials, but this one here, a 2.5 amp hour battery is good. If you're gonna have a big job, you can put a bigger battery on it if you want. You can use the backpack link. We'll put the video in the description. But that is all we're covering for now. Again, we didn't cover every tool, but we hope you found that helpful. We didn't wanna make this video too long, so we're making a separate video on how fast you can charge your battery, all right? It's gonna break down each battery and how long it takes to charge using different chargers. This video will be out soon, so look out for it. All right. Well, I sure hope you found the information valuable. It takes us time to put these videos together. And if you did, do me a favor, take a moment and give us that thumbs up. We'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps our channel. And if you want to follow us on social media, we'll put our social media right up top. You look us up on social media. Check out our Tesla channel when you have a moment. Look us up on YouTube at My Tesla Journey One. I'll put some videos here on the right side. And if you'd like to subscribe and join our family here at Tech Made Easy, we'll go ahead and click that round Tech Made Easy logo. And thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.